Good morning guys, welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. It is Tuesday the 6th of December. I have actually got makeup on, shock horror. I literally can't have my hair down though, it's that bad. Like I've got my like my roots are, like dark grey and silver stranding them to bare. Then I've got like well that's meant to be toned to there and then this is just shocking. So I think what I'm gonna do is when I've lost my first stone. That'll be my reward to go and get my hair done. <laughs> so, I desperately need it done. This morning, Athena has got her tongue tie appointment. I am dreading it. I feel sick. I've been thinking about it all night. I'm really tired because I didn't sleep much, I don't think. And I just want it to be over. Like, I, I know it's only like a small thing, but nobody wants to have to take their baby's hospital, regardless of what it is, do they? So, oh my God, I'm just absolutely dreading it. I just want it to be like, you know half 11 and come on here and say it's all done and it was okay so my phone going on so oh god let's uh she's asleep so i'm gonna have to get uh wake her up <laughs> looks like she's waking up anyway she just had, oh yeah she is <laughs> poor girl just in the lift now on the way up so fingers crossed hi guys so we're all done now thank god for that oh my god i was absolutely dreading it um she basically they were saying that if it's not like like really bad then they wouldn't do it and i was like well what about a speech and stuff like that and anyway he uh, had a look and he said like she's borderline on us doing it so do you want us to do it or not and i said right you might as well just do it like it's so easy to just say no isn't it because like you don't want to put them through it but i just thought i'd rather i do it now than have to go and do anesthetic later on because it affects her speech so they just did it there and then and she literally cried for a couple of minutes and and, and then just went back to sleep so um i think yeah i cried more than she did <laughs> she's horrible is it she looks so little on the little bed and everything she's just um you just don't want to don't want to be there but it's all done now i'm so glad so i'm just at aldi now i'm just gonna get a few things oh my god i literally can't stop sneezing oh so i'm back from aldi now i've just done a massive shop we've literally had no food in weeks like as, as i've been saying like we've just been eating rubbish i mean i have bought some rubbish things obviously but i think like meal basis and stuff like i've got some veg in the house which is amazing aside from that <laughs> which oh my god i literally can't see i've got like a tickle here it just keeps coming back um but yeah aldi have got some amazing stuff in for christmas look at these oh my god i'm literally obsessed with macarons oh well macarons macarons however i absolutely love them so when i saw these i literally could not resist what else i mean there is healthy stuff in there obviously as well but i'm just showing you like the juicy goodies i thought these were pretty good I need to really put this in the freezer. Um, they're Thai style vegetables. So you can just put them like in the stir fry and stuff. And I've got a different one as well, like with quinoa and stuff. So um, they'll be good. I don't know how good they'll be on Slimming World, but I suppose they've got oil to reserve them, haven't they? But yeah, this one's the other one. Giant couscous and stuff. Um, these are literally my favourites oh my god they are amazing if you like salted caramel and you like truffles you're gonna love these they're the perfect balance of like salt and caramel and they're amazing so yeah yeah hint 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 christmas presents <laughs> i've also got eddies for christmas but don't tell him um they are just some really nice chocolates i thought i would just get him as a little stocking filler or oh, when i got a couple of tubs of naughty ice cream that i couldn't help but get there's a theme here <laughs> salty caramel and praline ice cream oh my life that looks amazing and then i've got this one as well gingerbread that's the one for uh christmas obviously so i can't wait to try that so i really need to sort my freezer out i've got a freezer in the garage right that we've had for a, ever since we've lived together and basically we went on holiday i think it was like <laughs> gotta be over a year ago this is so bad and basically the electrics turned off for some reason or we turned the electrics off and they and we forgot about that freezer and it we, we turned it all back on and the food in there is still in there so i've literally got to brace myself empty it out <laughs> so i can like start like putting you know um like batch cooking and stuff and uh to put all my like batch cooked stuff in there so i've got to brace myself and empty that and could it, like put it all in the wheelie bin i'm not looking forward to that that is such, such a bad admission but you know we're all human 
But yeah, a few of you suggested about doing a batch cooking day ready for Slimming World and stuff in January, which I definitely, I definitely want to do. So uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to go ahead with that. Uh, oh, we haven't done the advent calendars today. I actually forgot yesterday that um, it was the 6th. So let's try. Oh, no, no, the 5th, the 5th, the 5th. I missed the 5th. Where is it? There. And there. Oh, is it a present? No, what is that? A oh, crown. There's a lot of random things in this milk and roll one. That's a present. God, that's weird. There's some weird things going on with this milky bar one. And here. Oh, another red one. Another white one. I also found these at Aldi, which I thought would be quite nice. They are bulgur wheat, um, quinoa and whole grain rices. I thought it would be nice for like um, curries and stuff. And uh, it's a little bit healthier than, you know, well, egg fried rice, what I usually have. But I did get some of that as well. <laughs> I don't really know what they would be on Slimming World um, because I haven't checked because obviously I don't have the app anymore but yeah there's quite a few things in there now they've got like new little snacks and stuff like that and some of the um, like gluten free stuff as well that like more healthier like healthy sins sort of thing so yeah I'm looking forward to raiding that I am like worried about like how i'm going to cut the snacks out because that is my problem like i can still do a slim world meal and enjoy it but it's the snacking i've got to literally have nothing in the house so i've literally got a few days between christmas and new year to get rid of it all <laughs> and i'm sure i'll have no problem in doing that do you want these do you want these no do you want these do you want these she really doesn't like her, does So I am just cooking dinner now. I have just got some, um, what have I got? Some shallots and carrot and courgette, pretty much the same as the other night. And I've just sweated those down in some chilli infused olive oil uh, with a bit of chilli and lazy garlic. So I'm just sweating that down now. As you can see there, it doesn't look great at the moment, but I'm then gonna add this Italian Basalt and oregano passata. This is in Aldi. I'm guessing this is sin free on Slimming Well because it's just flavoured passata and other ones I've had in like um, the cartons have been. So I can't see why this would have, you know, any more um, any sins or anything. So I'm going to have that with some pasta. So this is the end result. Literally does not look appetising at all. But the chicken char grill is like this big and I thought it'd be much bigger than that. Never mind. We've got garlic bread to go with it. <laughs> So guys, it is about midnight. Athena has literally just gone to sleep. She's been awake since about five o'clock. Yeah, I think. So last night was a good night and tonight's just like been the same as the night before. So I really don't know what it is. So obviously the tongue is not the major issue. I think I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and try the Dr. Brown's bottles because I think I'm just gonna have to like I've tried the man bottles, they're not they're still not right for her. The Tommy Tippy ones, I've tried the berry flow teats. She just gets drowned and it just goes everywhere and she chokes on it. These ones she's getting tired. I've tried you guys said about feeding her in her just in the best and not a baby grow. I've tried that, didn't work. Like the worry I've got with the Dr. Brown's bottles is that I'm just like in such a routine with washing the bottles, sterilising them and all that. There's quite a few bits, isn't there, to a Dr. Brown's bottle. But I suppose if it works, it works. But, oh God. I literally, I'm going to have to just go through every single bottle until we get there. I just don't know what it is. But she's just not a happy bunny at night. And it's like soul destroying. She just can't find a reason why. So, oh. But she's just finally just gone off of her own accord now. It's like she almost gets she just gets overtired, so frustrated. I'm feeding feeding her like a couple of ounces, she's falling asleep. And then waking back up, a couple of ounces, falling asleep, waking back up, and I just can't get the routine right. I don't know why. That the, it's only the last couple of weeks, she's just been totally thrown out. So she's alright in the night though, it's really weird. Like actually in the night, she's absolutely fine. So we'll see how the night goes tonight. Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling now, guys. I will catch you all tomorrow. Thank you so much for all your messages um, about Athena on Snapchat and on YouTube today with regards to her appointment. Really kind of you. 
Um, so I will catch you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 7 where I've successfully managed this for one week. Yes. See you later. Bye.